LeBron James missed a 34-footer with 10 seconds left in last night's overtime loss to the Kings. James was 0 for 2 with no points and no assists in overtime. So on the other hand, Kevin Durant scored 16 of his game-high 33 points in the fourth and rallied the Warriors to a 10-point win over the Hornets. So with that, we asked you guys on Twitter, who would you rather have with the ball in closing time, LeBron or KD? The results are in. 51% It was a close one. Say they want LeBron. Who would you want, Max? Well, they got it right. And the answer is clearly LeBron, but I understand why it's confusing for some people. Because when you say closer, you expect the ball in your hands, and that means that you score. Now, in this year's finals, Kevin Durant will probably have the ball in his hands, and he'll probably score, and they'll probably win. That doesn't make him a better closer than LeBron James. The real definition to me is of a closer is who makes his team better in those moments. Whether it's by shooting the ball, passing the ball, setting a screen, playing defense, blocking a shot, getting to the free throw line with a jacked up wrist and hitting one to ice the game. Stephen A., if only there was a perfect test case, a perfect one, where we could compare LeBron and Kevin Durant and see who's the better closer. Oh, there is? You and I saw each other there in Game 7 of the Western Conference Finals and of the Finals. Both Kevin Durant and LeBron James were in the exact same position, playing the same position against the same team. The greatest ever regular season, 73-win Golden State Warriors team on the road at Golden State. Game 7, waning minutes, one possession game. Kevin Durant could have been the closer. He was not. His team lost. LeBron James had a chance to be the closer. Yes, Kyrie Irving also balled. There are other players involved. Of course, that's part of LeBron James' genius and excellence as a closer. Get the ball to the hot hand. Do what you have to do. But it was LeBron James's block. It was icing the free throw at the line. It was his influence on his team that allowed them in the same exact predicament, one possession game, closing minutes, fourth quarter, on the road against the exact same team in the same arena. LeBron James got it done because he's the one you want closing the game out, and that's why he is the reigning NBA champion. The person that closed the game was Kyrie Irving with that big-time three. That's number one. Number two, here's the reason that I disagree with your premise. We all know that LeBron James is the best player in the world because he brings the total package in terms of his ability to pass the ball, defend, all of these other stuff. I don't know if anybody's noticing, I can't believe I'm saying this, Kevin Durant can defend too. Kevin Durant has a lot to do with the fact that why the Golden State Warriors are number one in block shot steals, dispute, you know, disrupted shots and what have you. Just ask Kemba Walker from last night because uh, Kevin Durant can do those kind of things because he's in, in, in a different way. He's a different freak of nature, being 6'11 with a 7'6 wingspan, able to do the things that he does. But really where you and I part ways, Max, in terms of disagreeing, it's really not, so, even though it can be debated, it's really about what a closer is. When I think closer, and I certainly have, you have a right to believe what you want about what a closer should be. But me personally, when I think about a closer, I think about the ball is in your hands. Who has the better opportunity of making a shot? Who can I rely on to be a better marksman under pressure? And I flow with Kevin Durant. Now, to be fair to LeBron, LeBron James numbers in the fourth quarter, not just this season, but in his career, is better than that of Kevin Durant per se. I get that. But from a skilled perspective, in terms of my comfort level, I'm not just looking at the fact that both of them are high percentage shooters from the field. I'm looking at the fact that Kevin Durant's primary shooting uh, prowess comes from the perimeter. LeBron goes to the hole. I'm thinking about that. Then I have to think about your free throws. Kevin Durant is a career 88% shooter from the free throw line. LeBron is at 74%. LeBron is not reliable for the free throw line. He has made clutch free throws on many, many occasions, and he deserves credit for that. But he's also missed in the clutch on occasion as well. He's not a reliable free throw shooter the way Kevin Durant is money from the free throw line. From the three-point line, Kevin Durant's a better shooter than LeBron. And obviously, because of his height and his length, he can get shots off. Now, and LeBron has graduated to a point where he's more aggressive than he used to be. And Kevin Durant still has to get to that point because we know that he wasn't in game six and we know that he wasn't in game seven last year. So your point is accurate. But for me, when I think closing, Max, I think about your skill set and what your skill set allows you to do. 
I think that LeBron is a spotty shooter. I consider Kevin Durant a marksman. And because he's a marksman, not just from the perimeter, but also from the free throw line, and the fact that he has a 6'11 frame with a 7'6 wingspan that he could get his shot off against anybody, I would say to you, I believe that last night was indicative. LeBron James launches an ill-advised three-point shot that flails off. Kevin Durant scores 16 in the fourth quarter. KD, it's just one example. KD he's just is a, a better, better shooter. He's a better pure and scorer than LeBron. KD always right. has a shot of that's only, that's, addition, the only reason, that's the only thing I'm saying. In, that's the only thing I'm saying. Especially in the regular season, in the, in the finals, in the playoffs, give me LeBron, even under those circumstances. But Kevin Durant, if, if by closer we mean the analogy is baseball, he's Mariano Rivera in the sense that with a lead, you need a guy to hit a shot to ice the game, or a guy is wide open, you need him to score, you might be able to argue Durant because he's a better scorer yeah. again under pressure I'd still prefer LeBron but I think it's much more than that look in these finals coming up and just go all the way to June we can fast forward we know what's going to happen Kevin Durant has guys like Steph Curry on his team who a superstar who will set off ball screens he has Draymond Green sucking the defense out the big has to come out because they can play five out he has Klay Thompson where if the best option is to let Klay Thompson shoot what which it might be on this Warriors team and Klay gets hot after all he's scored 37 points in a quarter before in his career Durant therefore gets less attention he'll be wide open he will be the beneficiary of the team he's on and in that sense like a closer in baseball you already have the lead fine yes he can score more and Golden State's likely to win anyway by closer what I mean is who gives your team the best chance to win under pressure at the end of the game if you have LeBron James on your team that unit will function at its highest most optimal possible level because LeBron James That's is on the floor true. give me that guy that's not true because, first of all, when they won the championship in Miami over the Spurs, that was Ray Allen that came to the rescue. Kevin LeBron showed up in game seven. Who got the seven. rebound? Let me finish. Lebr Chris Bosh. Oh, that's true. But Bosch LeBron, James, LeBron, James, LeBron James showed up in game seven, but that game six, Ray Allen saved the day. Last year, he had key blocks. He showed up big defensively. He did some things. But Guys, Kyrie closed. Break. Shooters close. I can rely on shooters. That's Bosch just did me. get the rebound. That's a good point. All right.